Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you an easy way to turn this handwritten note into an SVG file so we can cut it as a decal. You just need a few supplies for this project. Of course, whatever you're pulling your handwriting from. Some vinyl, which I'm using Oracle 651. It's permanent outdoor vinyl. And some transfer tape. Um, I'm using the Cricut. This is just the standard grip mat. This is the one I use the most often. And of course, my Cricut cutting machine. The first step is to take a photo of the handwriting that you are wanting to use. Now I just use my iPhone, get pretty close like this, snap the photo, and I save it to my Dropbox, which I can access from my desktop. Or another easy way is to email it to yourself and to save it from your computer there. Okay, now I am ready to convert that image that I saved. And I, the easiest way that I found is to use this website. It's picksvg.com. So it's p i c s v g.com, and it's super easy. Um, all you have to do is upload your picture, which is right there. And then I'm going to scroll down, and now you can see the filters here. It's on Invert 2, and I'm just going to go through here and click on the different ones to see the different types, what it gets rid of, how it cleans it up, etc. Um, but this one does seem uh, pretty, like I can just trim this out on Cricut Design Space, the rest of this stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but as far as the handwriting, that looks pretty good. And now. I have to do this step first because if I were to just upload this into Cricut Design Space, it's going to have all these little dots and stuff around. Um, even if you clean it up, there's still bound to be little dots and stuff if you're using, you know, a rougher photo like I am. Um, and then whenever, and then even actual, your actual handwriting, um, instead of just the Cricut doing one smooth cut like down like this, it would do all these little cuts and grits all along the way. So it would take forever to cut and it just wouldn't look as smooth. So I'm using the Pig SVG basically just to clean it up. Um, so now that I have cleaned it up, I'm going to download my SVG. And then I am going to get it in the correct folder so I can easily find it. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now. Alrighty, now I am ready to move over to my Cricut Design Space and we are going to upload that image, that SVG that we just saved into it. So I'm going to upload my image, browse here, let's see, it's going to be all the way down here and the SVG is going to look like the little Internet Explorer icon. So you just pop that in. There's, um, it's already set as SVG, so you don't have to go through and click all the, you know, the negative stuff that you want to get out of there. It's already ready to go. I'm just going to click save, and there is our handwriting that is uploaded into our Cricut Design Space. Now I'm just going to insert my image, and now you can see there is lots of different stuff going on over here. So it's basically looking at each one of these little bubbles and everything as a different cut. So I need to get rid of all of that. And all I'm going to do, I'm gonna ungroup this, which is right up here at the top. And it does take a second since there is so much, so many little intricate parts to this. And now this is the part that I need to get rid of. I'm just going to move that out of the way and see if it will let me select just those letters. I'm going to click those and then I just welded those together. I'm going to move that out of the way and delete the stuff that I'm not going to be using, which is all of this. Alrighty, and there we have our handwriting. We can make it as big or small as we want. It is ready to cut. You can make a decal, stickers out of it. Uh, you can make tea towels with this. Um, I mean, you can basically do anything now that you have your handwriting and you're ready for the decal. 
Um, but what I'm going to do is be putting this on my Keurig. So I'm going to make it about the same size as my piece of paper here. Now I'm just guesstimating um, that it's like about a one and a half by one and a half. So I'm going to make it about that big and I am ready to make it. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna to need to set my material to the premium outdoor vinyl since that is what I'm using. So it is ready to go. It's flashing, waiting for me to put my vinyl on, which I am going to do really quickly. to weed. Now since I am using such small intricate parts, I'm going to be using my extra little tool here to make sure that it actually stays down the pieces that need to be. This is our Keurig where the note has been sitting for, I'd say, about two to three years. It's been just like this right here. So what I am going to do is put my decal right there. So it will always be there, and I thought this would be kind of fun for, for Valentine's Day. I am going to... Trying to kind of get it around the the little buttons that light up. I did use cleaner on this right before, probably wasn't the best idea, but it's still sticking pretty well. Let's make sure that tiny little dot on the exclamation mark gets on there, and it is on. Alrighty, and there we have it. So it did look like this, with this big old white ugly piece of paper that was starting to get oil and dirt and all sorts of stuff on it and now it will forever be there you can clean over it you can do whatever you want with it um, it can get wet that's pretty perfect and I think he'll love it thank you guys for watching and make sure to hit subscribe to see more videos like this